so now let's talk about the monosaccharide which yesterday we was done with the carbohydrates so with carbohydrates they were the classification of carbohydrates they were monosaccharide oligosaccharide and polysaccharide so <clears throat> monosaccharide was having one molecule of saccharide and <clears throat> disaccharide was having two molecules of saccharide and uh, the, talking about carbon number monosaccharide was having three three to five carbon oligosaccharide was having 2 to 10 carbon and polysaccharide was having more than 10 so let's talk about the monosaccharide firstly we will be talking about the whole monosaccharide then polysaccharide and dyes and oligo as well so let's talk about monosaccharide the one molecule yesterday i told you that one molecule of saccharide is called monosaccharide which is having the one only one molecule of sugar but <clears throat> according to the carbon number they are three to seven carbon numbers and the carbon numbers it depends upon the monosaccharide or the monosaccharide is having different types and which depend upon the number of carbons so let's talk about talk about carbon number three carbon number four carbon number five carbon number six carbon number seven so this was this is triose this is tetrose this is pentose this is hexose this is heptose this is three carbon sugar this is four carbon sugar this is five six seven carbon sugar so in, in all of these the, the, these both are main how let's see pentose sugar is in our rna dna and all the living organism like animal plants bacteria all are having the pentose sugar because they are can see they contain rna and dna they contain rna and dna so in rna and dna there is the pentose sugar like uh, rna they are having five carbon sugar in in dna there is also having the having the pentose sugar so these both are the main so these both are living uh, present in all the living organisms so th that's where pentose sugar is made now let's talk about hexo sugar hexo sugar is used or intake intake by by animals like glucose we intake glucose we use the stars we use the we use proteins and like glucose so glucose is basically a sugar six carbon sugar which is hexose we use or we intake the glucose we don't make glucose by ourselves we intake the glucose like plant make their own glucose like we cannot make their make our own glucose so we intake the glucose we take the glucose from them so these both are important in this all now let's talk about that rna and dna are monosaccharide just must remember rna and dna is monosaccharide now let's talk about hexose sugar which is six carbon sugar the formula of hexose is c6h12o6 so i i told you that every formula of carbohydrate you can take will be the ratio this will be having the same ratio like one ratio two ratio one so this is also having the same ratio okay so hexo sugar there are three type of hexo sugar glucose galactose and fructose okay glucose galactose and fructose glucose is main according to these three glucose is main now let's talk about for example let's talk about milk milk is made up of lactose and in lactose there is glucose and lactose okay so lactose is disaccharide which is composed of two two molecules which is glucose and lactose so lactose is disaccharide and now let's take an example of another example let me tell you is uh, sucrose okay sucrose is also a disaccharide disaccharide because it is made up of glucose and fructose these both are monosaccharide and monosaccharide and monosaccharide is combining and making a sucrose so sucrose is a disaccharide and glucose and fructose is 
monosaccharide which combine and make the disaccharide so these both were the examples now let's move toward the what is let me tell you glucose plus lactose is aldehyde how aldehyde in previous video i told you that there is a there is a let me tell you if carbon is having the oxygen if carbon 1 is having carbon 1 carbon 1 is having double bond of oxygen it is called the aldehyde and galactose and glucose are having the same structure they are having the double bond of oxygen with carbon number 1 so they are aldehyde aldehyde is also called the aldose which is a sugar aldose now let's talk about now let's talk about the fructose okay glucose and lactose are done these are aldehyde now let's talk about fructose fructose is ketone how ketone these both are the functional group in previous video i am done with i'm just giving the overview of this because they are coming in the monosaccharide so yeah <clears throat> Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, this is having the oxygen. Let me make the structure first. So, this is the structure of fructose, which is ketone. So, fructose is having the double bond of oxygen with carbon number two, is called ketone group. And fructose is having the same structure. They are having the carbon number two. with the double bond of oxygen double bond of oxygen with carbon number 2 which is fructose which is also called ketone and ketone is also called the ketose but here you can see here here the glucose and lactose was having is aldehyde because they are having the double bond of oxygen with carbon number 1 so glucose and lactose having is aldehyde and fructose is ketone because of the double bond of oxygen with carbon number 2 must remember this so we are done with the monosaccharide okay so these were the carbon in monosaccharide and but they are made up of one one molecules these are made up of one one molecule one molecule of monosaccharide one molecule of saccharide is called monosaccharide